All right, well, all good scopes have to die sooner or later, just like us. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, I, might, I might have taken the time to rebuild this maybe a couple decades ago, but, you know, even when they were brand new, they weren't that great of an oscilloscope. I had to suffer through this stupid thing when I was an engineer at Hewlett Packard. They just, they just weren't great scopes. They really, really weren't. They really, really weren't. Um, tiny little screen, and they didn't trigger well, and yeah, they weren't nice. The trace wasn't as sharp as a... Tektronics and stuff. They just weren't, they just weren't very good. And uh, this one says, uh, this one says, uh, bad CRT, vertical display, push buttons irregular. Um, it actually does, I don't think, I don't know if the CRT is entirely bad, but yeah, it, uh, it certainly, the, I couldn't ever, I couldn't do a beam find there's there's just no way to there's just no way to make it work oh see that so it it does have some voltage on the tube but it just doesn't do anything right uh, and the knobs don't turn right and the buttons don't push right it's, it's just everything is wrong with this scope anyway it's getting parted out it's going to give itself up and uh, there might be some goodness inside that I can save but uh, trash day is coming up and I can put it out on the street so yep it's gonna get parted out and uh, hopefully we can find some goodies inside so let's do that HP knobs always have two set screws in them so they're nice that way and, and unnice that way so but I always save the knobs I always save the knobs oh there, there we go there's some uh, there's some boards with some stuff on them uh, I'm not quite sure the easiest way to take this take this thing apart I think Got a lot of knobs. <laughs> what a thing. Uh, it's missing almost all the screws. So people have been in and out of this thing quite a bit. And it's got it's got the wrong screws. Um, yeah, it's just a basket case. Where I'm from, it's junk. <laughs> it's unadulterated junk. Oh god. All right. Wow, this has some nice, uh, nice old gold-plated HP boards in it, though, and uh, probably maybe the pots are worth saving. I don't know. Like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, look at the delay line. That'd be fun. We might be able to do some experiments with that delay line. So yeah, I might save that. That'd be good. See, it's worth something. It's definitely worth something. Big transformer. Look at these old caps. Wow. Uh, what do we do with a drunken sailor? So early in the morning. Oh, how do you get this thing apart? It's not easy. Yeah, totally not easy. Hmm. Uh, it's not obvious. It's definitely not obvious how this all comes apart. Hmm. Yeah, not obvious. HP Love 440 screws. They're everywhere. Ah, 
That one is way inside there where I can't get to it, of course. Delay line has a weird connector on it. Oh, I guess it's just a double coax. That is just super bizarre looking. Yeah, I like this delay line a lot. We will, we will snake him out of there. really strange really really strange okay well I'm gonna hack and slash with this thing and uh, I will come back when it's mostly smushed together smashed apart all right I've got a, a couple stacks of boards <laughs> so I've been uh, removing some of the parts from this board there's some nice mica mica capacitors on it um, don't know if I'll get anything more on that one. Uh, a whole bunch of uh, front panel tensiometers, some nice, really high precision uh, ten turn ones. Even a even a dual ten turn. That's that's pretty cool. I like that one. Um, so I got all those off of there. Some really weird parts here. This is a really really weird custom custom part. Um, some kind of front end. Anyway, that one's cool. Uh, some of these boards are nice because they have some uh, trimmer capacitors on them, so those are always those are good. This has a bunch of trimmer capacitors, and uh, these are pretty cool. These have these little ones. They're kind of uh, oxidized, but I think they'll be fine. Uh, anyway, I will uh, go through and remove the stuff that seems worth saving, and and continue on. What else? How about this thing here? There's a nice trimmer, trimmer capacitor. Well, some little bitty ones in here too, wow. Some are harder than others to get though. All right, so this is kind of a cool assembly. Uh, this is the input. There's two of these, so there's A channel, B channel. And uh, so the top thing is covered and so it comes off. And what you see under here is a bunch of cams. And so these cams push on, uh, push on actuators, okay? And those actuators, uh, let me pull the board out here just for a second. Those actuators push on these little pins here. And those little pins push on these, can you see that? Is that they push on these little spring switches. So there's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 switch, 12 little switches. So all of the switching is done mechanically and uh, right there on the board. Now the input section is really cool also. 
So this goes here, and this is all shielded up front, so the signal comes in here. So the first thing the scope sees is, um, uh, what's it called? A matching network. Um, oh gosh, there's a name for it. Anyway, um, it has some resistors uh, that do loading. It has two capacitors that, that, that match, the, uh, match the probe. And uh, those go into something to point with. So, uh, so signal comes in here, goes to some, some stuff. There's these two balanced capacitors, and then those go. There's a copper wall here, and the signal has to go through that wall to the next board. And there are these wafer. Uh, they're like a frisbee. Uh, soldered onto the board, so those are pass-through uh, capacitors that that uh, take this shielded input and bring it bring it over here to the to the other side. Um, so that is a uh, that is super cool. I like I like that a lot. And then once it gets over here, it uh, gets amplified. So there's some uh, low noise amplification that's done here. Real fancy one there on a socket. That little guy there is on a socket. That's pretty cool. So I guess if your front end blows out, you can replace that. Oh, this is on a socket also. So both of these, both of these parts are on sockets. So they might be matched too. They might be that these boards are built, and then they go into test, and then they find a matching capacitor for this particular board, which would be the best suited capacitor. Um, so that that could be also. Back in the day, there was a lot of matched parts. Um, yeah, so very cool, very, very cool.